All right, today I have our Protoceratops and Drusii. This is a dinosaur. Um, this is a Neoceratopsian found in Mongolia in the 1920s on the expedition that Roy Chapman Andrews made to Mongolia, um, where he found lots of dinosaurs, including Velociraptor, Protoceratops, and the first dinosaur eggs. Now, these original dinosaur eggs were first attributed to belonging to this very fantastic Protoceratops, um, but it was actually wrong and it sat like this for 70 years so the eggs that were found uh, looked sort of like this this is a, a replica of a theropod egg uh, so they're elongate eggs uh, with some nice texture on them um, but these eggs were found in nests um, pretty cool and it was just assumed that they belonged to this protoceratops in fact there were tons of museum displays that had these eggs set up in the nest with these cute little protoceratops standing around them um, and and that was what it was thought to be, that these eggs belonged to this protoceratops. And there was another dinosaur that was found sitting on top of this nest that they assumed was the predator. And that was our oviraptor, oviraptor. excuse me. So oviraptor was found sitting on these eggs and it was assumed that oviraptor was the egg stealer. So it was given this name, oviraptor, egg stealing raptor. Um, and it was totally a misnomer. Later on, 70 years later, actually looking at these eggs, they found an embryo. And when they looked inside that embryo, it did not look like Protoceratops. It in fact looked just like Oviraptor. So poor little Oviraptor sitting on its nest, assumed to be the egg thief, uh, was actually the egg mama. Sitting there on top of its nest, protecting its eggs with its wings over the top, little arms kind of out to the side. Um, and now we know the real story that those eggs that were found in Mongolia don't belong to this cutie, this protoceratops, but instead belong correctly to our oviraptor. So what can we learn from this? Um, lots actually so we can spend time when we're trying to reconstruct our dinosaurs looking and figuring out who was alive in the same formation at the same time to try to understand what the ecosystem looked like when our dinosaurs were alive uh, but we do have to think carefully when we find things and make sure that all of the evidence points to the same place if we find a dinosaur sitting on top of a nest just because it has a hooked beak with a little tiny extra bone possibly for breaking eggs, we don't want to assume that that's what its role was, but we want to gather more evidence and really make sure we're thinking through our hypotheses and reevaluating it as we get more evidence to make sure we reconstruct those paleo food webs and paleo eco ecosystems correctly. Uh, so that's my fun look um, at our protoceratops and the theropod egg that it was found with. Uh, with that, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you later.